Hey guys, Philly here, welcome back to another video, and today we're doing boss basics for the Great Droid, which is the raid boss, so technically it's raid basics, but I'm going to continue on with boss basics just for my OCD. Anyway, we're going to start off and spawn as always, so pretty much as soon as you spawn in, it is very simple to find, all you have to do is fly down over here. Now there's a little bit more to cover with this guy because he does go over a little bit, like he has a couple of unique mechanics, uh, being a raid boss, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is the plate. So this is the plate that you stand on to get into the actual raid itself now the great thing about this is that if you're a noob and you don't have any power you don't have any items and you want to get some free items this is the best thing for you to do because you step on this plate no one in this world can kill you automatically become immune to pvp as you can see up here in the safe zone if i was to quickly step off uh it will say uh not safe well it isn't a safe zone you can be killed here just i don't know why it says that but yeah anyway as i was saying uh, this guy drops a ton of items, so I'm going to go over that really quickly. Uh, it's a lot to go through, so I'm not going to pop it all up on screen because it's just ridiculous. But pretty much, this guy drops the two important items, which is the Demonic Droid Mask and the Power Pole. So those two items are very, very powerful, and those are pretty much the two items you want to go for. But apart from that, he drops the Back Plasma Tank, the Great Droid Army Helmet and Outfit, the Power, uh, power Scroll Level 3, uh, Currency Power, Pouch, premium currency pouch, royalty cape, back antenna, droid round mask, back shield, hip guard, uh, the Saiyajin eye patch, silver sword, total back, and the red fur neck. So it is quite a lot of items. Um, I'll sort of explain how that works when we get into the actual fight itself. But the two items that you actually want to go for are the power pole and the demonic droid mask. Those are the two really good items. They both have a 1% drop chance. They are very, very rare to get. But in terms of actual timer for this guy, it is a 10 minute timer, which is great. Um, it's only a 10 minute timer though for the intermission time. So pretty much every time the boss is beaten, this intermission time will pop up as 10 minutes. But while people are in the raid, it's a 30 minute timer. So if you can't beat the boss in 30 minutes, you automatically lose. But he's pretty easy to beat to be honest so it's not really that much of an issue uh if you have like one high level player uh on the plate with you there's a max of seven players it's very easy to beat him very very simple stuff anyway guys i'm gonna get into the raid i will be back when this has ticked down Alrighty guys, this boss fight is just about to happen, so before this I'm just going to explain how this boss kind of works and what it does. So this boss has two phases and has a lot of health, but it's actually not that strong of a boss in terms of damage, it doesn't really do that much damage. Okay, so the first phase is really simple, it's going to sit back and it's just going to shoot blast at you, it's going to slowly walk towards you, very simple stuff, you'll see it when I shoot a clip of me fighting it. Um, I'm going to speed, uh, speed the clip up, sorry, because it's just, it is a long fight, so like I just want to speed it up. But pretty much it will shoot blast at you from a distance in the first form. When you get it to half health, it will enter its second form. But first, it will start to summon like pretty weak minions that you have to fight. Very easy to beat. Um, and then in its second form, past half health, it will just start charging and running at you and doing a lot more damage. But it still doesn't do that much damage, so you'll be fine. Anyway, let's get into the boss fight. Alrighty guys, we are back, so I'm going to quickly go over the loot, so pretty much the less, the least amount of people, uh, if there's less people in the group that actually kill the boss, uh, you won't get as many chests as this, but that big blue chest in the middle is going to determine whether or not I actually get a good item from this, because all the other items are pretty bad, uh, they're just like vanity, power scrolls, they're nothing special, you won't get anything good from these, like, other chests. Uh, as you can see here, mostly terrible. I usually just grab the power scrolls and the uh, money and just leave the rest because it's a bunch of junk. But if you're lower level, it's always good. Uh, as you can see there, I got a troll chest, unfortunately, for the blue, big blue one. But uh, it's all good. Uh, all you have to do is run over to this little white circle and you've left the arena. But guys, that's it. That pretty much covers the great droid uh, and boss basics. I will see you guys next time.